Hello everyone, this is Carol. In the previous videos, we have learned many interesting facts. And today, I will show you how to quickly create a full reverse effect step by step. The method is very simple, just to follow steps in the video and you will be able to do it. Well, if you are interested in this one, keep watching the video. First, let's open Vidipop Logger. If you haven't downloaded it yet, click the link in the description box down below to get it for free. Before we start, we need to prepare some video material. It is suggested to use footage with clear motion directions, such as pedestrians, vehicles on the road, or airplanes. You can also do material moving towards the camera which is also a very good option to go with. Creating a reverse effect in Vidipop Logger is very simple. Just to place the material on the timeline track. Preview the material. And then find the reverse play in the inspector on the right. Click on it. Play and see. Now the video is in reverse. However, simply reversing a segment is not what we want here. To achieve the effect in the sample, we need to add more details. Let's select a segment of material again. Here, we will use the footage on the road. The pedestrian and traffic in the frame are suitable for creating a reverse effect. Choose the position, click split. Then, select the footage clip at the front. Right-click to copy and paste it. You can also use shortcut Ctrl C and Ctrl V. After copying, click Reverse Play in the Inspector. We want the accelerating feeling during the reverse, so we click on Speed. Choose 2 times or 4 times speed and click Apply. Don't forget to copy another normal playback content and place it after these two segments. Then, you can shorten the front segment a little bit. Let's play in a C. Well now, the effect is taking shape. Next, Let's add a visual effect. Click on Effects. Choose Glitch. And place it in the position of the reversed material. Adjust the duration to align with the material. If you want a better effect, you can also add an arrow material to the overlay track. If the direction of the material is wrong, you can choose to flip it horizontally. Let's play and see the effect. The visual effect looks good, but we can do better. Import the two sound effects into Vidipop Logger. One is the sound of pressing the projector button, and the other is a rewriting sound. Create a new audio track. Place the two sounds on the rewriting track. And adjust the duration to match effect. Now we are getting pretty close. The rewriting sound here ends a bit abruptly. We select it. Click on audio. Use the left mouse button to select the ending part, and then click Fade Out. Let's listen again. We're much better now. Alright, the rewriting effect is all done. That's all for today's video. If 
If you want to know more about our new tricks or what has been going on with Video Pop Vlogger, be sure to click that subscribe button to subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.